Ice the Pezzy. On the Pezzy. DK Metcalf, one on one. Good luck. On the Pezzy, I just ice the Pezzy. DK Metcalf, what a play. Touchdown, Seahawks. Our guest right now, one of the biggest, fastest, most explosive wide receivers in the NFL. He's also, I think, an aspiring actor. Can't wait to talk to him about there. An iconic fashion icon in the NFL. Uh, and he is joining us right now. Please welcome in Seattle Seahawks, all pro superstar GK Metcalf. Hi. What's up? How you doing? I'm so good. Now, I saw your Instagram story. Where's that dog that was in the car with you? That's why I wanted you to come on. I want to see that dog. <laughs> Uh, she's at the house right now. I'm I'm at the facility. <laughs> now you're at the facility. Got it. Did you do anything for Halloween? Did you dress up? Uh, no. Nah, we we had a little Halloween party up here. Um, uh, you know, for for me and some of the players and the staff members. Uh, you know, in the building, it was it was a good turnout. What was the best costume you saw, and who wore it? It was actually one of the equipment managers. He's, he scared he scared me when he uh, tapped me on my shoulder. I turned around, and he was like the Grim Reaper. I couldn't see nothing but, like, a black cape, and <laughs> it was just, it was, it was a good outfit. You're like, Miles Garrett, is that you? That's, that is absolutely creepy. Right. Uh, and then to scary, 6'4", DK Metcalf. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, it's all smiles for Seattle right now. I couldn't be happier, and I couldn't be more apologetic that no one in the media, myself included, saw it coming or gave enough respect or love to this team. Another win, this time over the Giants, these, this also powerhouse team. Uh, and in the game, you did a little acting to help your team get into the end zone. Take me through this play. All right, so I had a, a slant route, and then I see Gino didn't throw the ball. So Dory kept following me. <laughs> so I was like, let me see how far I can take it. <laughs> so I was... Uh, I ran and acted like uh, Gino threw me the ball, threw my hands up, and you know he he was chasing me and acted like he was trying to swat the ball down. So I was like, "Damn, I really got him uh, on the on the fade route." But yeah, it was a it was a good little acting job. But that that running back uh, that we have in the backfield is is doing an amazing job right now, making people miss and uh, you know taking taking the uh, ball to the end zone. Did you plan on doing this, or had you ever thought about it? Or was this just improv on the spot? No, I used to do this in uh, high school all the time because teams used to double me, and so I just had to make the game fun. So I used to act like the, the quarterback was still throwing me the ball when he wasn't, and I would jump <laughs> and try to act like I was catching the ball. We loved seeing it, and you know, there's acting that went into that in this game, plus a touchdown from you to help your squad. And I, I didn't even think you were going to play. You looked good out there. You were questionable. How are you feeling, and how's the knee? Uh, my knee is great. Um, I got a little rest last week. Uh, did a lot of rehab, you know, at the facility and at the house, and uh, it was just like around the clock uh, rehab. But I'm just glad, you know, God blessed me to be able to go out there and play and have full trust in my knee and faith in myself. I love that. And you know, the acting part of it all is, I, I know you took acting classes. Is that where that came from? Because I know you even worked with Jerry Bruckheimer on a project. Yeah, uh, I actually had acting practice yesterday um, after uh, our meetings. But uh, yeah, I was in a film with uh, Jerry Bruckheimer, Owen Wilson, uh, uh, two off seasons ago, and uh, the movie released this off season. So it was just a great experience. It just a great experience just to be on set, um, just see how a lot of actors and actresses, you know, take their job real serious. How. You know, we as uh, athletes take our job serious, uh, you know, during the week and during the season. So if you were to cast yourself in the perfect situation for DK Metcalf, in a movie, a series, a superhero, villain, a comedy, who is DK Metcalf playing? Oh, I'm being myself, a uh, superhero. Um, I will name my superhero, my pops calls me uh, chaotic. Um and I'll just be saving saving uh, a small town like Oxford, Mississippi or something like that. Hometown here. I mean, it sounds like you've thought about this before, DK. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we got to get a screenplay. We got to get you an agent. I know some guys over at CAA. We can get you hooked up. We'll figure this out. Right. We'll make a movie in no time. Uh, but until but until then, I know you're focused on your job and what your role is on that team at five and three with the lead in the NFC West. And uh, I mentioned everybody counted you out. They really did for the season. So, what moment has been most satisfying to you this year? Um, just seeing everybody's everybody's success and how we've just come together as like a, a brotherhood and not even, not only as a team. Uh, just seeing Geno's success, um, you know our defensive success. Uh, we we had the pleasure of getting Chinnon Wilson from the Chargers. You know he's just turned our defense around. Uh, Tyler's doing great. Uh, Kim Walker, an amazing running back, amazing rookie. These rookies that we have on defense and offense, it's just amazing to see. You know everybody coming together and, you know, doing their part. And, you know, it's making a big difference. And, you know, we're pulling out wins, you know, left and right um, because everybody's just coming together. And we don't, like Tyler said, nobody cares who gets the credit. Um, you know, we just, we just go out there and just play for each other. A lot of people, I didn't like this, and, I've, you know, a lot of people right away add Russell Wilson to that Tyler Locker quote. What do you make of that? Because I don't think it's true. No. I mean, no, that was definitely not a shot at, at Russ. Um, it was just like, it, it just feels like a different vibe. Like we're a young team and, and that's just hungry. Uh, he was just more so speaking of everybody on the team in this moment and how we're just like unselfish with, uh, you know, how we play the game and with how we care for each other. Uh, Russ was definitely not that type of person to me or anybody, um, you know, that I, I seen him around. Uh, he was a great teammate to me. So was Bobby Wagner and everybody that's mm -hmm. you know been through this organization since I've been here. So, no, that was definitely not a not a shot at anybody, uh, and specifically. And it, yeah, it seemed like Tyler Lockett was talking about these young guys. Listen, Tariq Woolen blew my socks off when I had him on the show last week, getting to know him just a little bit, the first time I ever talked about him. And now he's got a fan for life. Like, I could not be, you know, more uh, sort of, like, attracted to everything he's got going and the momentum and the mentality. And you're, you, you and Tyler Lockett, you guys are veterans now. You're setting the tone. You're talking to these guys. How impressed are you with this rookie class? Uh, very. Um, Kobe studies day in, day out. He's probably the first one to the facility and the last one to leave. Ken Walker uh, works his butt off every day at practice. Um, and when he gets to the game, he knows exactly who he is and what he has to do. Tariq Woolen, uh, I mean, you see him catching picks left and right. You know, nobody has completed a pass on him in, in a couple weeks uh, that I've seen. Um, and then, you know, the two tackles that we have in Abe and Charles that's holding, you know, the line down on the outside. Um, I mean, we just have like a, a hungry team. Um, you know, that's hungry just for, you know, a chance to play, a chance to win, mm -hmm. a chance to just not prove everybody else wrong, but, you know, just to prove ourselves right um, in every situation. So these rookies that we have, they, they motivate me every day in practice because, you know, they're trying to be great as well. They're trying to, you know, chase me, chase me down at practice or stop me at practice or stop Tyler. So, uh, I mean, it's just a, a fun sight to see. And then you have, speaking of proving people wrong, Geno Smith. There's so much to get into, but what was the moment that he won this locker room over? Um, I will say after the after the Saints game, I will say he told us that we got to be better as an offense, better as a team, play together. And ever since then, like everybody's just gravitated towards him. Uh, you know, he's a he's been a leader the past five weeks. Um, he's been leading us, you know, in offense, leading the team on the sideline. He's talking more. You can see how bad he wants to win, you know, during the game. Now he's taking off running, not running out of bounds, trying to lower his shoulder, get the first down. Uh, you can just see his competitive spirit uh, just come out on Sundays. And, you know, it's just a, a thing of beauty to see how many people, you know, counted him out and didn't give him a chance and wrote him off. And, you know, he's just kept his head down the whole time and just worked his butt off and, uh, you know, you, we, we, he's reaping the benefits of it now. Well, he said everyone wrote him off, but he didn't write back, though, which is one of my yeah, favorite I lines, he, I think, yeah, in NFL history. 
I mean, that's when he went, that's the moment he won me over. I said, okay, yeah. Gino, like I see you, I see you right now. Uh, so that, that was, a, it's a beautiful moment after that Saints game and it's been working for you guys. And then, and then there was this moment, the moment of 2022 with the clench walk. <laughs> okay, we just have to get into it. This was the bowel movement that shook the NFL, DK. Uh, it's week four, you know, it's again, I think it's against the Lions, who cares, who knows? You're carted off the field. Are you, let's start here. Were you surprised this was such big news and that this went viral? Yes, I'm, I'm very surprised that me being carted off to go to the bathroom was big news. If anybody has played in Detroit, they know it is a long ass walk from the locker room to the field. <laughs> and I was not going to make that walk uh, by far. No, I was not going to make it. Okay, so then here's the next question. What, like, what does Pete Carroll know? Do you, you obviously say, I have to go to the bathroom. Is there a signal that you give to everyone? Like, is there a hot, it just, you, you're just, I'm out, <laughs> it, and that's how it goes. All right, so this is the full story. <laughs> so this is the middle of the drive, and I come out for a play, and I told my, my uh, receivers coach, I was like, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. He was like, you got to pee or do a number two. I said, I got to do a number two. And then it went away for like <laughs> 10 seconds. So I was like, all right, I'll go back in the game. And when I was back in the game, the feeling came back up. So we, we ended up scoring like two plays later. And so I run back to the sideline and they had a cart ready for me. So the head trainer was like, you got to go to the bathroom. I was like, yeah, he was like, there's a cart down there. I'm like, bro, I'm not taking a cart. So then the equipment manager comes up and was like, hey, it's a cart down there. I think you should go ahead and go. Pete wanted me to do it on the sideline. I'm like, no, I got too much respect for myself. I can't, I can't do it on the sideline. And so I hopped on the cart and went to the locker room. I was actually mic'd up that game too. So this is this is like very um So NFL Films has full pooping. Yeah, yeah, they got they got everything. I mean, you got now. Whenever NFL Films needs anything from you, DK, exactly. like you, I mean, that's I, just I like that. You know, yeah. they they got you. Exactly. So, uh, I'm, I'm Pete, did you, did right you now. say that Pete Carroll, Pete Carroll wanted you to, Pete Carroll wanted you to poop on the sideline? Yes, because it was like the first week of the season. Our special teams coach is uh, Larry Izzo, and he got a game ball for taking a shit on the sideline when he was with the Patriots. So Pete was like, if Larry can do it, then you can do it. And I'm like, I'm not like Larry. I don't want to be like Larry in that aspect. I'm not like Larry. I'm not like Larry. <laughs> I can't believe that. And then, uh, okay, well, then there we go. Now, now, I don't even know what to say about that. I would just say this. For us fans out there, we thought you were hurt. We thought something was wrong. So if you could give us some sort of signal, I don't know if it's like the bat signal, whatever. Next time anything like that happens, we just want to make sure that you are, you're you good. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. I'll throw my thumbs up next time. Well, hopefully <laughs> no more cards are needed. DK, you're the best. We have one, one last question for you. You've got the Cardinals this weekend. And last week we saw D-Hop get back from his time away and he balled out. Tell me the truth, because you're a human. You're also an alpha. You're, you know, you're a, a top wide receiver in this business. How does that affect you, seeing another wide receiver on another team perform well going into a matchup against them? Oh, I'd never like try to take any food off anybody's plate. I hope everybody you know succeeds, but it's gonna be tough trying to get you know some yards on Tariq Woolen, uh, you know, now that he's back. So, you know, it's gonna be a good matchup. I know I had to go against him, you know, all training camp and every day of practice. I um, mean, you know, I consider myself, you know, one of the best receivers in the league. So it's going to be it's going to be a tough matchup, but, uh, you know, may the best man win. Amazing. DK Metcalf, you are the best. Always keeping it honest, always keeping it real. Wishing you uh, so much success. And tell Tariq Woolen that his biggest fan says hi, OK? All right, I will. Thank you. Thanks, DK. Good to see you, as always. Big one between the Seattle Seahawks and those Cardinals this 